Hello, uh, the friends. Greetings to you in the name of dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I would like to grace you all with the word of your day from the book of Psalm 37, 18 and 19 verses. The Lord knoweth the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the time, in the evil time. And the days of a man, they shall be satisfied. Hello, here God is talking about the people of upright means the righteous people, means those who stand upon the word of God, those who believe the word of God, those who do and follow according to the word of God, according to the will of God. See, God is talking about three timings here. He is talking about uh, <clears throat> forever. Forever means our inheritance is forever, means all the time. Forever means all the time. And he is talking about the time of evil and the time of famine. And the days of famine means the time. Days are existed with the timings. Okay. So God is talking about all the time, the time of evil, the time of the famine. You know that the God keeps upright people, their inheritance forever. And God shall never put the people of his righteous to be a same. And God shall never, <laughs> you see this here, unsatisfy his people at the time of famine. So the righteous people shall be satisfied in the time of famine. The righteous people shall be not ashamed in the time of evil and their inheritance shall be forever by God. See here, because God sees watch over the works of the upright that's what the right meaning the lord know it means know it means watch over the works of the righteous people we do support the orphans we do support the widows we do support the pastor's families we do support the poor people in the society because the word of god supports us to do it. That's the work of a pride. You know, that's the, that's the work of the kingdom of God. You know, the kingdom always has compassion, power, miracles, and what have love. Hallelujah. And how many minutes there? In government. So my friends, I don't have much more time to speak to you all because we don't have power in house and uh, mobiles I am taking help of uh, my uh, uh, older son Lalu Lalit's uh, mobile he has less power in his mobile but he's helping right now because we had a great uh, uh, rain here and there is a, a rainbow there we had uh, some pictures with the rainbow no it's it was disappeared I think that it has been disappeared so what I would like to tell that there's my wife and uh, Joshua and, you know, we are all on the top of uh, uh, top of the uh, houses here and my children are playing on the top of our house here. So God keeps his righteous people safe and they inheritance safely forever because our inheritance is in God, in Jesus and our inheritance is in front of the Lord's eyes, prophet Isaiah speaks and in the hand of the Lord. So, it will never be stolen. It is forever secured by God the Almighty in the name of Jesus and by the quench of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Secondly, we shall not be ashamed in the time of evil. We have lockdown season. We have no uh, work. We have no economy. We have no uh, earnings, no monies. 
this is exactly the evil time and people are suffering with disease, COVID-19, uh, coronavirus and uh, something like that. But we, we were kept safely in this, in this world. Hallelujah. And um, we were fed by God the Almighty. And thoroughly, we will be satisfied in the famine. You know, in the nation of Canaan, there was a great famine came to the household of Jacob. But one of his uh, boys uh, called uh, uh, Joseph was a prince uh, to the nation of Egypt. He kept all the rice, he kept everything because that king of the nation had uh, a dream over there, but he explained the meaning of uh, the dream and he has kept the stores. Uh, he kept the rice and uh, grains and everything in their store and they were fed by that uh, uh, stores or something like that. So my friends, they were satisfied and Isaac sowed his seed in the great time of famine and he, he reaped a great big harvest. So my friends, it is good to sow the seed in the particular time of uh, famine. So I would ask you to do that. Even it is a little one or bigger one, the size of seed is could be anything. But I would ask you to consider because God is going to satisfy your family, your ministry, and God, God is going to uh, give you, uh, uh, you shall not be ashamed and uh, your inheritance shall be secured forever and ever by God the Almighty. May God bless you. Thanks for listening to us. And uh, uh, we ask you to pray for India and consider to sow any kind of, any size of your help or donation seed to feed the Indian widows, orphans, or pastors' families right now at the season of uh, this evil time. God bless you. You shall be satisfied. You shall never be disappointed. You shall never be ashamed by God. Your inheritance is secure forever. Forever. And the time of three times. The time of evil. The time of famine. And the time of every minute, every day. So forever. You shall be secure forever. Your inheritance be secure forever. And uh, you, you shall not be ashamed and you shall be satisfied if you do this. Please consider. May God bless you, my friends. Bye-bye.